Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Corsa Force 3 60GB SSD. SSD stands for Solid State Drive by the way. Here's the small box. Once again we're looking at the Corsa Force 3 60GB Cedar 3 2.5 inch Solid State Drive. Here's a picture of the product itself. On the back of the box you get the description in different languages. But now let's open this box up. So, this is what you get. Let's start with this 3.5 inch adapter. Right off the bat I have to say it looks wonderful with the Corsa logo there. I'm not sure if you can see it through the camera, but the build quality seems to be pretty solid and I like the brushed metal effect. But enough with this adapter, let's get on with the SSD packaging. Alright, right on top sits the solid state drive, but we will get to it in a second. As you can see there are two little plastic bags in here. Inside of these are two different types of screws to securely mount the SSD into your case. And here's the drive itself. I have to admit it looks very clean, solid and basic. It's also very lightweight. The back looks fairly basic too. Here are the SATA connections. As you may already know this is the 2.5 inch form factor and this one is mostly used in laptops and netbooks. So you could actually install this drive into your laptop for example as long as it supports SATA 3. But don't worry you will be able to use this SSD for desktop PCs as well. That's why Corsa includes a 3.5 inch adapter. But now let's get to the specifications. The Corsa Force 3 60GB SSD has a capacity of 60GB and features the Sandforce SF-2281 controller. The asynchronous NAND technology is used and this drive uses the C to 6 gigabit per second interface. It should reach up to 520 megabits per second on sequential read and up to 490 megabits per second on sequential write. This SSD should draw 2 watts at max and 0.5 watts on idle. In crystal disk info the drive gets detected without any problems and as you can see the latest firmware version at the time of this video is installed. The health status is at 100% and so it's completely healthy. The temperature is also very low, I'm speaking of 30 degrees Celsius. Obviously there's not a single problem or error to find. So all we have to do now is let the benchmarks begin. This is my test system. Let's start with the outer disk benchmark. Even Corsair uses that tool because it's very accurate. As you can see I got some great results, the last graph is what counts in this benchmark. On read I got 559 megabytes per second which is 40 megabytes higher than listed. But unfortunately the write results look a little worse, I get 480 megabytes per second instead of the listed 490. But still that's just 10 megabytes difference and it's not too bad. The read results are truly amazing so I can't really complain here. Next is crystal disk mark and as you can see I got some really nice results. And I'm amazed how high the sequential read results are but the write results also aren't bad at all. And the rest seems to be fairly good too. Of course on the 4K test the read result looks a bit worse with 35 megabytes per second. But still overall great performance. In case you'd ever decide to benchmark your SSD please don't use that tool too often since it can hurt SSDs and will eventually shorten the lifespan. Here in the S SSD benchmark we get totally different results again. They see a lot lower but you just can't compare one benchmarking tools result with another benchmarking tools result. So here in this benchmark I get some really nice results especially at the sequential tests. And even the access time is really really fast and I like that. The separate read score would be 92 while the write score is a lot higher and I'm speaking of 156. These two tests combined result in a final score of 296 which is actually very good. The last tool is the annual storage benchmark which is a nice tool and gives a tool score to compare. Please keep in mind that this is the Pro Edition Release Candidate 2 version and scores may differ from version to version. But seriously I got some amazing results here. Read and write, also the IAPS, response time, just amazing. The read score is roughly 979 while the write score is roughly 846. These two scores together result in a total score of 1824 which is fairly high. I'm really impressed of this SSD. But to show you an example on how fast the SSD would be in real life situations, let's get on with the Windows Boot Speed Test then. Alright, this is the post screen. Sometimes you could run into issues like low write speeds on SSDs. To solve issues like that you could try disabling the C3 slash C6 energy saving features or bias updating could help too. As you can see the timer is already starting and the boot up is done in roughly 11 seconds. So the boot up speed is so fast compared to a traditional hard disk drive. But please keep in mind that there were absolutely no startup applications. It would take a little longer if there were startup items to load up. 
The Core Zephyr 360 GB solid state drive is truly a fast and reliable drive with the right price. Of course you only get 60 GB of capacity but still for the price you get amazing performance which in many cases even outperforms the competition. For people that don't like noisy HDDs this or SSDs in general would be a good choice. 60 GB of cores are fairly small but for most people it should do fine when they are just installing an OS on there and the rest on a separate mechanical drive. Pros are great price performance ratio good overall performance, then it's very silent and is designed very nicely. For the cons I have nothing to say at all and so I give this SSD a 10 out of 10 and definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.